Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing something different and I'm working on a 10 inch by 10 inch canvas. And as you can see, it's already been painted on before. I am doing a new technique today, technically new. I tried it once before, but I my paints were way too thin. And so I ended up just using a blow dryer to like blow most of it off because they were thin enough to. And so, but the technique that I'm doing is a reverse flower dip. I've been in the mood to try it out lately. And so, um, I decided to try it again, which with much thicker paints. And this time it was a lot more successful. <laughs> My base color is a Prussian blue. And I am also drizzling some phthalo blue on top of that and kind of like swirling it in. I ended up using a palette knife to kind of blend it in a little bit, but I regret, I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I would have just like drizzled it and then, um, you know, not use a palette knife to blend it in at all. Cause I feel like it would have, that phthalo blue would have been more noticeable, um, in the very end had I not blended it at all. And I feel like it would have looked kind of cooler, but you know, it didn't take away from it, but it just, it was kind of pointless to add <laughs> since I use a palette knife to blend it. Now I'm using a torch to pop the air bubbles, of course, because we never want air bubbles in our paintings. <laughs> and I'm using the string of beads to I'm going to be pouring over the bottle, the bottom of a bottle, upside down, you know, and um, I want to make sure that I put it as much in the center as possible. So I'm just using the string of beads to make some indentions that will end up getting leveled out on their own anyway, uh, to help me find where the very center of the canvas is rather than just giving it my best guess. The first color that I'm using is titanium white. I will have all my colors listed down below in the description as I always do. And I accidentally poured a little too much white and so I'm using a medicine syringe to suck up some of that extra paint and then I'm just squirting it out into the, the trash can next to me. Um, some of you who are um, regular watchers, you probably have seen me do this before in previous paintings. I don't need to do this a lot, but <clears throat> those times that you do spill a little more paint or pour a little more paint in one spot than you intend to, that medicine syringe is a quick and easy fix. Now uh, my next color is sky blue white. It's an Amsterdam color. And then I've got a little bit of ultramarine, ultramarine blue. Um, ultramarine blue comes in a red shade and a green shade. <clears throat> this one is a red shade. It's Liquitex acrylic gouache, actually. Next is an iridescent white. I wanted to make sure that the colors were pouring on each section pretty evenly. And so that's why you see me going back and pouring a little bit more in certain, certain spots um, a few times. This color is turquoise green. Next, I've got a golden yellow. I think 
the actual name of it is, um, I think it's a cadmium yellow medium. And then I've got an iridescent bright gold fine, it's, um, a golden fluid acrylics color. And then adding a little bit more titanium white. Now I am using a Venetian Rose by Amsterdam. And then my favorite color in this whole thing, which is primary magenta. I'm a pretty huge fan of magenta. <laughs> My hair is even magenta. And then adding a little bit of Prussian blue. And then after this, I'm just going to be repeating all the same colors, but I'm going to speed through that next part since you've already, I've already gone over them once already. Now I'm drawing lines through the design, which will basically end up making it look more flower-like. What I'm using to, um, to do the lines is an embossing, embossing tool, or it's also called a dotting tool. I usually, when I swipe lines or squigglies or whatever through my paints, I usually use the um, end of a paintbrush. But I just recently got a set of these to try doing it with these. And um, so I wanted to try it out for the first time on this. They're definitely easier to clean off than the ends of the paintbrushes, that's for sure. Since these have metal tips and paintbrushes have wooden tips, metal is obviously easier to clean off than the wood. But I also like that the, the kit or not the kit, but like the, the set of these that I got, they come in like six different sizes, no, eight different sizes. And so I have lots of different options to choose from. And now I'm just making more impulsive lines that I think will add to the overall effect um, whenever I lay the paper down. Lay, uh, lay the paper towel on it and you know lift that up I, I think all these little details will will help the design in the end I also want to mention that in between every each and every line I do each and every like swipe with this tool I am wiping the tool off on a paper towel to make sure all my colors stay clean and then after this, I'm going to take a paper towel and fold it and spray it with distilled water, not drench it, but spray it just enough and fold it in half. All right. I think I already mentioned that. Keep it folded in half. That way it makes it easier to lay over the canvas as you just saw. If I were to try to lay that entire thing over the canvas unfolded, it wouldn't be as straight and it wouldn't, it wouldn't lay down as, as well as it did, um, doing it carefully by folding in half first. And there were some, a few wrinkles in the paper towel. And so I'm just stretching those out and I actually like how Stretching the wrinkles out was also stretching the design a little bit as well. Now it's time to pull up the paper towel. And it's very important how you pull it up. You want to start with, um, you want to do opposite corners first.
and then the pieces that are still like longer and hanging out you want to do those next I'm not sure if I should have done those from opposite corners as well but I just realized that I did not do it that way <laughs> and pop some air bubbles and that'll um, that also created some really delicate but really nice um, cells in just the right spots uh, in the flower. You won't see this, but I did fiddle with this a little bit more by making the center look better and more defined. And I also dragged the that same dotting tool um, through it in some spots and, and stuff. But here is the wet close-up. Oh, I'm loving that magenta. <laughs> and it's hard to pick up, or it's hard, it's hard to tell from the video, but this had some really pretty iridescent shimmer from that gold and that iridescent um, white that I used. It is very subtle, but it's just enough to make it like really, really pretty. And keep watching because next I will show you the dried result. And you might notice I added a little something in the corners as well. That was whenever I lifted up the paper towel, the way it looked on the bottom, it was so pretty. Like I, I had to do something with it. And so I thought it might be a nice touch in the corners. I want to try this technique again, but I don't think I'll do that in the corners again. This is the dried and unvarnished result. And I will, of course, take you guys in for another close-up. But I'm going to leave you guys here. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below and let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, I'd really, really appreciate it if you would like this video and especially subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out and I just would genuinely appreciate it. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.